This is a study from Dr. Garcia's infertile patient population. So these are all women who've come, they're infertile, and they have basal body temperature graphs. You can go to the drugstore and buy a, ba a basal body temperature graph, a, a thermometer kit, and take your temperature before you get up out of bed every morning, record the temperature, and there will be a pattern if you're fertile, and there'll be a loss of, a lack of pattern if you're not fertile. We were able to look at that pattern because all these infertile patients had kept records. And what we found was, first, the menstrual cycle length and the hyperthermic phase length. It means after ovulation, until the next period where I showed you the progesterone's rising, the corpus luteum is, flow, is getting bigger and bigger, producing progesterone. That's the time of the month when uh, the basal body temperature is elevated. So a woman who keeps her records of her temperature We'll find every day will be like this. When she ovulates, her temperature will shoot up, and every day after that it'll stay up and then drop when she gets her period. That is the pattern of a fertile cycle. And if it doesn't stay elevated for at least 12 and a half days, she's not going to get pregnant. She might ovulate, but there won't be a good enough nest. There won't be enough progesterone to build that nest that I showed you in the womb for an egg to implant. It'll just abort right out. So this we were asking, that's called hyperthermic phase length, the time when the temperature's hyperthermic, higher temperature. And we were asking, uh, what is the hyperthermic phase length as a function of the menstrual cycle length and break it down into weeklies and sporadics? And what we look at here is, look at the sporadics or the holes. The people with regular cycles who are sporadics some of them have infertile, hyperthermic. The short cycler who's sporadic has, is, would never get pregnant. The long cyclers, the two long cyclers who are sporadic below the line, which is they don't have an adequate luteal phase as measured by their temperature, all those women are infertile. And the kind of fertil infertility is a luteal phase defect. And I think it was seven out of eight of them were uh, sporadically active women. That's what that study shows. The details we, we can't get to fast, so we're going to skip it. The basic theme of that was you can tell by your basal body temperature if you have an adequately long post-ovulatory time to be a fertile person. And for young people, it might matter you don't want to get pregnant. But for your longevity, it matters tremendously because fertility the, the reproduction of species, the way it works is the fertile creatures are the healthiest. And when you get unhealthy, you become infertile. It's nature's design to prevent offspring being born to unhealthy people. That's the fundamental design of nature. And you can measure that fertility by your basal body temperature graph and see how healthy is my fertility system. You could see it by taking your temperature. Mm -hmm.